Benjamin with Barch Designs here, and I'm going to show you how to assemble your Raspberry Pi 4 2 gig version into our Raspberry Pi 4 cases. Now, in the previous version, I showed you on the 1 gig and the 4 gig how the heatsink goop makes direct contact with all three pillars. Well, on the 2 gig version, that RAM chip is slightly shorter. So what you need to do is cut a piece of your thermal tape right across for two pieces, and we need to put two pieces of this on that middle pillar. So after you get some pieces cut, simply peel one up, put it on there, and you'll want to peel that blue portion off. And then take your next piece of thermal tape. I couldn't find the thermal tape exactly the right size, so using two of them will work just fine. So you put the second piece on there, and it's pretty sticky. Peel that blue piece up, and then when you're Heat sink goop. In the previous video, I showed you you want to kind of mix it up before you peel that top off. It helps it mix up a little bit and come out thicker. Sometimes it separates a little bit. Um, so I put some heat sink goop on both of the other pillars. You put it right in the middle because you want to make sure it squishes out. And then what you do, take your Raspberry Pi 2 gig, drop it in the bottom of the case. And then when you line this up again, take your pillars right here and here. Line it right up behind the USBs, and it'll slide right together. And if you give it that little squeeze, that'll spread that heat sink goop out. We'll check it. And it definitely spread it out on those two. Um, sometimes what I like to do, if it doesn't feel like it, it's stuck real good, um, is I'll put a little bit of heat sink goop on that middle uh, ram pillar too. It's, it's very close, so you don't need much if you need any at all. If you feel it stick when you pull it back apart, it's perfect. If you don't feel it quite stick, um, you can put a little heat sink goop on it. And then just if you want to double check, see it's spread all over that RAM chip now, so it's making good contact. So after that, put your four screws in, tighten it down, put the rubber feet on the bottom, and you're good to go. Thanks for buying a uh, Barch Designs Raspberry Pi 4 case. Enjoy.